All right, so we back. So I figured I'll make a video just talking about, you know, different types of uh, ways to go as far as like going with your power steering. And uh, on this one, particular one right here, I'm gonna be using this right over here. An electric power steering pump from, a, I don't know what year Volvo it is. I'll, I'll put it down in the description. But uh, it's an electric uh, Volvo power steering pump. It is actually, let me get it right over here in the light. Let me see it a little better. It actually, you can see actually right there, it says Ford Motor Company on it. So it is a Ford product. So, you know, we are staying within the confines of, of Ford. With that, you could, if you wanted to, you could still run manual brakes. And then just use that straight up as a, just a power steering pump so you're, your steering and everything is right. So if you didn't want to have to plumb all the the hydro boost lines, which I still have to do on this one. And that's kind of why I'm making this video because it's just kind of a follow up to last video, just to give y'all a heads up on what's going on. And on this particular car, I will be going with this electric power steering, like I said before. And the reason why is because on this car, I'm, I'm gonna be running um, I'm going to be running AC. Now, if I wasn't running AC, I would do it like my other car over here. All right, yeah, so on this one, I'm not running AC. So I can actually run this with the, uh, the pulley in the location where the AC actually goes. I'm going to see if I can get y'all a shot of it. I went over there and got my light. So as you can see, it's got its own separate belt system, which is basically how the AC would run. Yeah, so. Damn, run that like that. So that's why with that particular car, I don't mind running, you know, the, the pulley style pump because really that one's more this car is like you know in my opinion it's more of an extreme car like i feel like the the pump is more reliable than an electric pump you know what i mean especially a high rpm and all that type of stuff and then with these particular pumps these electric pumps uh i read a lot online and i haven't experienced it myself <clears throat> because this is going to be my first personal electric electric power steering pump but i've I was actually, I actually suggested this to other people and they've done it before me and I, I helped them out, uh, you know, put it together. So I think it's certain ones they they'll fail safe. If you're driving under extreme conditions like they'll, and what I mean like fail safe, it'll basically just cut off. Cause I think the pump just can't handle, you know, it's probably like if you're doing donuts, you drifting or something like that. That's what I heard. But then it's other people that say they work fine, which my opinion is electric. I don't see why it wouldn't work fine. You know what I mean? And then there's a, there's also the other hurdle of, you know, a lot of people don't know what fittings to get. And basically with this chart, and I'm gonna put the chart up on this video. For attaching your, your AM fittings and your hoses to the pump style and that that diagram has been around for a while because you know basically all these coyote motors they're basically similar to the the v8 motors that came inside of oh well, I, I won't even mix it up 96 to 04 because that's the same chassis style and uh they all would basically they all use this they use a hydro boost and from 96 to 99 i believe they're different don't quote me on that one, man. But I think it's 96 to 99. They're a little bit different. Like the fittings are like down on the side. I don't think it has this block. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. But all of mine, this car and that car over there, they both have, um, what is it? The 2004 Cobra? No, this one's a 2004 Cobra. I just know both of them are 2004 Cobras. Yeah, these both of these Hydro Boosts, I actually got pretty lucky on. You know, shout out to my boy Morg. He, he didn't want that blessed me with that one. He just he just tossed it to me. So, 
you know, whenever I do that, I always just use, I always make my own lines. And so I use these right here. And these are, oh yeah, I don't even, I stopped these. First I was using the Russell. And then, but these are actually Summit brand. And they work well. Like you can see, I use them on everything. Because once I saw that, I was like, okay, if I can use these lines, you know, on power steering and it'll never, you know, you don't have to worry about it bursting. They're more, they're more tough. They're more, they're more rugged. You know what I'm saying? They could handle more. I used to have uh, push lock fittings as far as my, my fuel goes. And that's why I use those, those same lines on my fuel lamp. Uh, on my, <clears throat> I'm over here getting tongue tied. On my fuel. And you see, no issues at all. And even on my other car. On the fuel lines, I had I had push lock. I switched I switched over on these to the to the nylon braided lines as well, just cause they just more I don't know they just seem more reliable. So that's why on this on this particular car. So that's pretty much the whole reason why I'm running this, cause I could I could put this in the fender somewhere, and then I still have room down there where the power steering pump would go and then I could just run my AC as you can see right here I got my AC stuff ready I will be making my own custom AC lines so I'll be doing a video on that you know just to kind of put everybody on on game on that and just to kind of show y'all what I'm doing showcasing the process and I still need to go I got to order an AC unit. So it's a lot of little stuff I got to order for this car. 2004 Hydro Boost. Nylon braided power steering lines from Summit. Summit Racing. Uh, you see they have these style fittings. As you can see, I, I got that on the pump as well. And we doing that because running AC down low. And so I plan on running this here electric power steering pump and the fender somewhere along these lines this area all in here if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like man if you got any questions or comments go ahead and leave it below and uh subscribe if you like videos like this there's more like these to come and just different type of coyote swap videos. I just kind of want just to get this out there. Just, you know, just for people to see what's going on. Like, what are they using? Are they using what type of power steering pump? Uh, catch y'all on the next one, though.